twice he stepped down for Jomo Kenyatta during critical times in Kenya's struggle for independence from British colonial rule. For his deference and loyalty, Kenyatta would always have a special regard and a high position in his government for James Kishuru. James Stanley Gishuru was born in March 1914 at Thogoto, Kikuyu, in Kiambu district. His parents sent him to Thogoto Primary School and Alliance High School. He was at Alliance in the days of the founder principal, Reverend G. A. Grieve, who had opened the school in 1926. From Alliance, Gishiru went on to Makerere College, Kampala, Uganda, then the only institution of higher learning in East Africa. He graduated in 1934 with a diploma in education and returned to Alliance as a teacher for the next six years. Some of the students Gishiru taught at Alliance would, like Gishiru himself, go on to serve Kenya in important positions. They included Jackson Angaine, Oginga Odinga, Charles Njonjo, Jeremiah Nyaga, and Ronald Ngala. In 1940, Gishuru was transferred to the Church of Scotland Mission Thogotto Junior Secondary School, becoming the school's headmaster two years later. By now, Gishuru had developed an interest in politics. In 1944, he, Harry Thuku, Francis Hamisi, Joseph Otiende and WWW w. Awori set up a new party, the Kenya African Study Union, KASU, whose name would later be changed to the Kenya African Union, KAU, with Gishuru as president. But in September 1946, Gishuru resigned as KAU president in favor of Jomo Kenyatta, who had returned to Kenya after living in England for a number of years. In 1951, Gishuru quit teaching and entered government service as chief of Dagoretti, but he would not last long as a chief. On October 20th, 1952, the colonial governor, Sir Evelyn Baring, declared a state of emergency throughout Kenya in an effort to contain the Mau Mau rebellion against British colonial rule. Kau was banned, and Kenyatta and other freedom fighters were arrested, tried, convicted, jailed, and later detained for a number of years. Gishuru and Otiende were some of the former Kao leaders on whom the colonial government placed a movement restriction order. By the time the restriction order was rescinded in 1959, some of the measures his old party Kao had fought for had been achieved. There were now 14 elected African members of the Legislative Council, or LegCo, and soon the colonial government would allow Africans to set up new political parties. Gishuru became interim president of one of the new parties, the Kenya African National Union, KANU, on the understanding that he would step down for Kenyatta when the latter was released from detention. Kenyatta and other detained freedom fighters were released in 1961, and on taking over as president of the party, Kenyatta would lead Kanu into a series of victories in the elections that preceded Kenya's independence on December 12, 1963. In the 1961 general election, Gishuru stood for the Lemuru seat rather than his home constituency of Kikuyu. He was elected MP unopposed. He would later accompany Kenyatta, as Kenyatta led Kanu delegates to the Second Constitutional Conference at Lancaster House in London to work out the final touches to Kenya's progress to independence. In the May 1963 general election, Gishuru was again elected unopposed for the Limuru parliamentary seat. Elsewhere, Kanu had a resounding victory, winning 83 of the 124 seats in the House of Representatives. On June 1st, Kenyatta became the first Prime Minister of Kenya. In his new government, he appointed Gishuru Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development. In 